All right, so I'm going to use my uh, graphing calculator to sketch a graph with a restricted domain. So I'll do two examples real quick. Y equals X squared plus 2, but we only want it where X is between negative 1, uh, less than or equal to, or less than 2. So your calculator can't use this notation, but it can use the square and, cur and curved bracket notation. Or well, actually just the square notation. So I'm just going to rewrite negative 2 less than or equal to x less than 2. Now, if it's less than or equal to, we use a, a square bracket, negative 1. And if it's less than, we use a curved bracket, like that. So y equals x squared plus 2 when x is between negative 1 and 2, equal to negative 1 but less than 2. Calculator. Go into, I'll just go back here, uh, go into the menu. All right, go into your graph mode, and then just type in the equation you want. So x, uh, make sure you use the right x, this x here, x squared plus 2, and then use the comma button here. And then it doesn't recognize uh, the curved bracket, so we, unfortunately we have to use the square brackets on both sides. Shift. Um, the square bracket, negative 1, 2, 2. Um, okay. So there it is. Unfortunately, we can't use that little curve bracket, so we've got to go with the two square brackets. Now, when we draw it, that doesn't change much when we draw it. We just need to recognise it in our own head. When I draw it, I get something that looks like that. Now, if you can't see it on yours, uh, probably press F3. Uh, actually, it'll go a bit faster here. Press the zoom button and then just go auto, or you can go the zoom button and click out, and then move this guy here, this, this bit here, that's where it'll zoom around, and then you can just click execute and it'll zoom out for you. And you can see that it's drawn a quadratic for us, but like only the section between x is negative one and x is two. Uh, now I might just draw that next one real quick, and the only real complication here with this next one, uh, two complications, is that I have to rearrange it to make y equals. Uh, so it's going to be uh, 7 minus 2x equals negative 3y. So y is equal to 7 minus 2x over negative 3. And where x is greater than or equal to 0. Now the way that we're going to type x is greater than or equal to 0 into our calculator is again by using these um curved and square brackets. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, it's including 0. So if it's including 0, it's a square bracket. Not that your calculator cares. And it's greater than, so it's all the way up to infinity. And a curved bracket because you can't include infinity. Uh, now let's use that, do that on our calculator. Uh, it's going to be, i use my, oops, use my thingy here. 7 minus 2x over negative 3, move over here a little bit, comma, and then square bracket, 0, comma, and then if we want to use infinity, there's no infinity key, you can't find it, so we just leave it blank. So it's sort of, what it says is, the domain is restricted to between zero and no restriction. It just goes on forever. So we'll draw that one. Now at the moment it's drawing both, so I'll just go back up here and deselect this one. So now it's only drawing the one with the highlighted equal sign. Click draw. Okay, and I better like zoom out. Okay, and what you can see is it stops when it hits x is uh, equal to zero, but it'll continue on that way uh, infinitely. Okay, that's graphing on your calculator using restricted domains.